Hi everyone, just a quick video today, just to, I guess it was a more of a recap on the JDXI and the SysX stuff that we did on this, on the video that we'll link, link in the description. We did talk briefly about this uh, Roland A01, which is the boutique controller slash 8-bit monosynth. We're not going to be talking about the 8-bit monosynth, but I want to talk about specifically the SysX control that you can get in this. And so let's just dive straight into it. Okay, so just wanted to show you that I can control those SysX messages on the JDXI that you can't access through this control panel here. So we'll do the filter envelope because there's no filter envelope on here at all. There's an envelope, but that's to do with the uh, the amp. So let's play with the filter envelope. It's only available via SysX. So it's also available through NRPNs, but we're going to do SysX because we can. And what's cool about it is the A01 has SysX directly built in. So let's go straight into this control panel here, and we're going to change this to SysX. And we'll do all four controllers, SysX1, SysX2, SysX3, and SysX4. Now, it will only store four SysX messages in here. So let's see how we do it. We go menu, and we go down to patch, press ink, and we scroll down. And there's the SysX ones there. So we're going to go, this is SysX1. We'll change the type to normal. I just find normal a little bit easier for me to control. Uh, it says across here, S1, insert, S2, delete, S3 is a variable. Um, I'm gonna put the graphic up on the screen now that we used in that SysX uh, video, and it will show just a typical SysX message for the JDXI. So we're gonna delete all of the stuff and we're going to insert 41100000000E121240200 to something and a variable. All right, so we'll start with 41. And we want this last second to last one to be the variable. Yes, so that will be S3. Okay, let's see if we've got enough. Four one. And this one is ten. O O O O O O O E. E E. Twelve. Nineteen. Forty two. Nineteen forty-two. And then that's the offset address, and that first one we're going to use is the envelope attack is twenty-five. So O O twenty-five. And we've got the variable, and then the checksum. So that's the first one. That'd be nice if we could copy that, because this is going to be a little painful. All right, so the next one, the only difference would be the next one would be 26. So I'll just quickly show you using video editing magic on that. Press menu to go back, down, this is X2. And this one will be 26 is the decay. Done. Menu, down, yep. Sustain, filter is 27. That one's done. And last but not least is filter release. Done. Menu. Now you'll see on here it says sysx, and all these values are zeroed. So let's. 
guys there is a filter envelope being controlled I didn't press any keys on here controlled it here all here on the A01 um, just not even didn't even touch a computer to enter that sysx code it was a little tedious pity you didn't have a copy feature Roland if you're watching this put a copy feature in that that'd be cool and uh, that's all I've got for this video but it was really more just a supplementary video to supplement that SysX video on the JDXi. Stay tuned, there's more videos to come. I'm actually in the middle of filming one right now. So if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'd love it if you did. Also hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button because it actually tells you when I've actually released a video instead of you having to wait for YouTube to email you, which could be days later. Don't forget, I've also got a Patreon page if you want to really support me. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.